Hey, Nate Diggs back with Nerds Gaming. I'm here to show you all hole-in-ones on the new DLC Laser Lair. Uh, sorry I'm a little late posting this. I was away with the family over in Yosemite, which if y'all have not been over to there, you need to definitely check it out. One of the most beautiful places I've ever been. This course is pretty unique in a way where the first course wasn't too hard, which I'll be posting that one later, but uh, it's more about timing especially on the second course you have to do like timing and exact spot you have to hit in the exact spot at the right time it's it's actually very challenging but fun all right let's get started hole one this one you can do several different ways but i found out just jumping the laser is easier for me because i usually hit it too hard anyways so just bank it off the left side let it go down in the little dip and just hop it over. All right, on to hole two. This one is a pretty fun one. Just got to hit that very delicate shot and timing. That one, I think I got away with it. It actually looks like it hit the laser. So I don't know how that happened, but I ain't gonna complain. It's really all about speed here, though. Once you get that position, you just gotta get the speed. All right, hole three. This one's pretty self-explanatory. Just hit it up that second ramp and time the lasers. I love these shots where you just see the overview of everything. All right, hole four. This one, you just want to bank it off that left side as the laser comes back to you from the hole. Once you find that sweet spot, it'll just bounce in almost every time. Hole number five. This one's an easy bank shot on the left, just got to get that right pace. Of course I hit a little too hard that one, but at the end I'm going to do another straight shot just for good measure. And here's a straight end shot just for good measure. Number six, so this one you need to bank out that right side right before the end. It kind of just loops around and banks off that last shot. Actually not too difficult once you kind of get that area where you gotta hit it. All right, lucky number seven. So I found out if you just bank it off this left side first, then off the back, and then another bank shot, it seems to be the easiest to me. Bring just a hole number eight. This one, pretty straightaway shot. Obviously, you gotta aim a little left because it does a little right turn down the hill. But overall, it's pretty easy. Let's get the timing. Hole nine. So, this one seems pretty difficult, but once you get this little area, which I've tried to put it right between those two little dots right before the down ramp, 
And even if you don't get the hole in one, most of the time you can make it up there. So this is definitely a shot I'll be doing every time I play this. And I got a little close to the lasers and the little moving bots or whatever, but I'll, only because I was concentrating on the spot to hit it. You can obviously hit it to where you're not so sketchy. Hole 10, long putt. It's actually a pretty fun one, probably my favorite hole of this. So I just aim just left of that laser butt and bump it up to the hole. Even if you don't get it to go in, it, most of the time it'll just stay around the hole, which is a good thing too. Hole number 11, another pretty easy one. Bank it off that left side and banks again and into the hole. Hole number 12, obviously this is all about hitting it at the right pace to get all the way down there with the lasers and straight. And you gotta hit it straight. All right, Treacherous 13. This one's definitely the hardest one on the course to get the whole one. But I found out if you just barely touch that right side and do the double bank in the corner at the right pace, you can bank it off that other moving platform thing. And I'll go in the hole. This is super hard though. It's all about pace and precision. But a lot of fun when it goes in. Brings us to hole 14. This is another one that you have to get the pace exactly right and the aim. Fun hole though. Super hard to get the right pace and line. And if you don't time it just right, you're gonna hit those lasers easily. I mean, there's no room for mistake. You have to hit it literally perfect or it's gonna hit the laser. Hole 15. This is a pretty tough hole too. It's pretty much center, maybe just right of center where you gotta hit it. And just pray that you get the right pace to go all the way through. It's not always gonna bank the right way that you want it to, especially at the end. Sometimes it won't hit that side and bank in. Sometimes it'll just barely go into the hole, but it is your best shot at getting in the hole and to the hole.
hole 16. So this one I aim literally straight at the hole. Just try to get the banks right on it. If you can do it right, I'll go down the little alleyway that leads to the hole and just kind of funnel itself in. A lot of times too, if you hit it a little too hard, it'll bounce off the back and end up somewhere near the hole. So it's definitely the best spot to hit it at. Hole 17. This is one of my favorite holes as well. It's just fun. I like bouncing out the back instead of trying to get it to go straight in, but it just seems easier and less stressful. Just a little easy bank shot. Which brings us to hole 18, probably the easiest hole on the course. I don't think I've not got a hole in one today. But pretty cool looking hole and I appreciate you guys watching hopefully you uh, picked up a couple of tricks to help you and uh, I will be having the other videos out shortly I already have them all shots made I just gotta put it all together and if you're feeling jolly please hit the like button and the subscribe button it does help me out appreciate you guys and we will see you soon just going to leave you with some photos from Yosemite, Alcatraz, and San Francisco.